Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a review video for you all. It's going to be on the L'Oreal Nutrilift Gold Foundation. I recently picked this up from Priceline when they were doing their 40% off sale. So you can see that in my haul video that I filmed. I'll link that down below. It was massive. Um, but yeah, loved everything I got. Now this foundation, did I say the name? It's the L'Oreal Nutrilift Gold Foundation. It's supposed to be an anti-aging serum foundation with six active ingredients. The first ingredient is pro-retinol. Now retinol is a complex of vitamin A, which is supposed to boost skin's regeneration faster. That's basically retinol in a nutshell. It's got vitamin C, it's got collagen, it's got a few other things as well that I'm not really too sure what they do. But on the back it says, our first anti-aging serum foundation with gold microparticles. The lightweight formula nourishes the skin with moisture. Skin looks smoother and firmer. With gold microparticles for a radiant boosting lift. Perfect coverage. SPF 20 and 25 mils in the bottle. Dermatologically tested, shake well before use. I have mine in the shade 170, which is beige glow, and I love the packaging. It does come with a pump. If you can see, the packaging looks super, super luxurious. Very, very similar to the L'Oreal Magic Lumi foundation, if you're familiar with that. It's just got a gold lid instead of a pink rose gold lid. I use one and a half pumps, and I'm able to get this coverage on my face. I do think that this is pretty full coverage without looking cakey. And this is one layer. I think that's great for a foundation considering it's so ridiculously lightweight on the skin. My skin doesn't feel dry, my skin doesn't feel tight, it doesn't feel oily. It's just a happy medium, not too oily, not too moisturized, it's just really nice. Now, on the back, it does say that there's gold microparticles in this, which made me really, really scared. But when I look at my skin up close, even on a magnified mirror like I have here, if you can see it, like the magnified mirror that I have here, I can't see glitters on my face. And that is a good thing. I do not want to see glitters on my face. I don't want to be like Edward Cullen. I don't want to look like I have that Revlon photo thing on my face, airbrush makeup, whatever it is. I don't want to look like that. I don't want to have giant chunks of glitter on my face. That's not cute, that's not fun, that's not cool. This is like a happy balance between matte, satin, and radiant. It's really, really unique, and I really, really, really do like it. But, for me, I am a skincare junkie. I love researching active ingredients. I love it. And one of my favorite ingredients in my skincare is retinol. Now you might think, oh, that foundation's perfect for you then. No. Let me continue. I love retinol in my nighttime routine. Now, I personally steer away from retinols in the daytime because retinol regenerates the skin and it makes it generate faster. So it turns over the skin cells faster than normal, which is a good thing. It's good for an anti-aging benefit. However, I don't think that it's suitable for a foundation that someone's gonna wear day to day. I really don't think so. I think this would be great if it was like, retinol would be great if it was a nighttime serum, but I don't think that it would be that great in a daily foundation. Now that's just my personal opinion. I don't personally like to wear this outside um, in the daytime. I do like wearing it in the evenings and days when I know that I'm not gonna be in the sun too much. But if I know that I'm gonna be like going out and going like walking and stuff and I don't wanna be in the sun for a significant amount of amount of the day, I do steer away from this foundation. Purely for the fact that there is retinol on it and it makes me scared. Like, quite bluntly, it makes me really, really scared. Um, I do think the active ingredients work. I do notice that my laugh lines aren't as deep when I take off my makeup that night. Um, every night that I've used this foundation, or every day slash time I've used this foundation. Um, so I do think the active ingredients do work, at least on my skin. I'm not super old, so I couldn't really tell you like heaps of benefits, but I do know that it reduces my smile lines and then it does make the lines in my forehead not look as prominent either. Do I think it's smoothing? I do think it's smoothing, but it doesn't blur the pores completely unless you use like a pore cream or something like that. But that's completely fine with me. I don't mind that at all. So is this foundation lightweight? It's not super lightweight, 
but it's not super heavy either. It's like a happy medium, which I'm happy with. I like it. I like how it feels on the skin. I'm able to tolerate the lightness because it's not too heavy on the skin, which I appreciate. It doesn't look thick. It just looks really, really beautiful on the skin, at least for me. I use a buffing brush. I always use a buffing brush. Haven't really caught on with the Beauty Blender thing thing where I use it for my whole foundation. Don't know why. Don't ask. I have no idea. But yeah, overall, I do like this foundation. If you're game enough to wear it in the daytime, all power to you. I'm just way too scared, to be honest. Um, but I love this foundation. I love it for evenings. I love it for nighttime. For me, it photographs beautifully. I love it. I would truly recommend it. I would really, really recommend it. It's a nice foundation. If you're on the fence about it and you can find your right color match, I would say go for it. It's beautiful. It's really, really beautiful. If you want something not as heavy, then I would recommend the L'Oreal Lumi foundation. It's very, very similar, just a little bit more light on the skin and I do feel like they have more colors available. Okay, let's talk about the coverage. I use one and a half pumps and it gives me basically full coverage, like full coverage. All I had to do was spot conceal this one little creature friend that isn't fun at all, my little breakout. Um, I only had to conceal that one little thing, but it masked my redness. I'm so impressed with this foundation in regards to coverage. I love it. It's great. I would recommend it. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else for me to say, so I hope you're having a wonderful day. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.